Hematoid ferruginous hematite included quartz. Now this specimen has been sawn to stand flat like this. So let me give you a sideways view first of all. I find that this is quite an interesting piece from a, a landscape perspective. You have this, these, these valleys of, of red to cross to get to the final pinnacle on top, the mountain top. Lovely phantoms inside these quartzes, of course, multiple generational growth of the quartz causing the phantoms. Um, on the first generation of the quartz, you'd have oxidized hematite, and then this again would be coated by a, a second generation of the silica or the quartz, uh, which would be often clear, leaving the phantom behind. And in the clear sections, you often find little gray flakes, which, which would be specular hematite crystals which haven't lost their oxygen in the secondary silica flow. That's, of course, my, my theory on uh, geology. Uh, I'm no geologist. This is just... Uh, uh, there we go. All the way from the General Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. Have a look at that. That's quite lovely. Let's just see if we can... There's definitely a phantom in these guys as well. Wow. Look at that, little ghosts inside the crystals.